good morning children in this session we going to study about decimals under the chapter tens and hundreds first fraction into decimal fraction into decimal or first problem 385 divided by 100 children so 100 you know how many zeros there are two zero children uh, so just i have to write 385 as it is so two zeros you know children so only after the two digit i make a decimal point so what comes now three decimal point then eight five so this like we need to write down the fraction into decimal isn't it our next problem 6 multiplied by 5 Divided by twenty multiplied by five children. So six fives are thirty. Six fives are thirty. Then twenty multiplied by five. So twenty into five means uh, what comes? Uh, zero into five zero. Five twos are ten, isn't it? So what you get the value thirty divided by hundred. Thirty divided by hundred. So how can you represent this? Again you get. The three zero thirty. So you have two zeros. So after the two digit, you need to make a decimal point. So what comes now? Zero point three zero, isn't it? So this is our answer. This like you need to change fraction into decimal. Our next problem now decimal into fraction. The same problem only we have to take. Uh, the decimal into fraction, so zero point three zero. So how can you represent into fraction? So just you write the whole number alone. What's the word? Whole number here thirty. So just I have to write thirty children. Three zero thirty. So after how many digit I make? decimal two digit so for that i write 100 as it is children so this is our answers uh, suppose you need this alone means you can stop likewise or else you cut the up and down zeros the um, two zeros you cut means what you have to get as the your numerator and denominator you cut the zeros so remaining you get you get 3 divided by 10 3 divided by 10 here 10 has come children so this is our answer isn't it so this like you need to solve the decimal into fraction problem children this is our answer next expanded notation write in three ways so we can write the expanded notation In three ways. First, you see our problem: six thousand eight hundred and seventy-three point four eight five. So first, how can you write the place value here? Six thousand eight hundred and seventy-three. So ones, tens, hundred, thousand. So children, how many thousands here? Six thousands. So first, the first one you see, this is our first format. How many thousands? Six thousand. Next, how many hundreds there? Eight hundreds. Eight hundred. So six thousand plus six thousand plus eight hundred plus how many tens? Seven tens. How many tens? Seven tens. So seven tens. Then how many ones, children? Three ones. So three ones. They have written there. And next, after the decimal point, how can you represent tenth, tenth, hundredth, thousandth, likewise? So how many tenth, four tenth? How many hundredth, eight hundredths, and five thousands? You know. So like so, they represent four tens, eight hundreds plus five thousands. As in the children, this is the one format children. 
like ones how many ones three tens seven and a hundred eight and thousand six you know so our second format children how they represent six thousand you know so six into thousand how they represent six into thousand then plus plus how many hundreds eight hundreds you know eight into hundred eight into hundred they represent then how many tens seven tens so seven into ten seven into ten seven into ten plus how many ones three ones three ones so three into one plus this is very important next how they represent you see four you know four divided by tenth that is in tens place so they represent divided by ten then eight in the hundredth place so how they represent eight divided by hundred then five in the thousands place so they represent five divided by thousands this like we need to write this is the our second format children next our third format you see our third format is so uh, as usual how many thousands there 6000 so 6000 plus 800 plus how many uh, so hundreds there 800 so 800 plus how many tens seven tens so 70 plus how many ones three ones so plus 3 plus this is the third format how they represent see the before and all four divided by 10 they represent how can we represent in decimal that is in fraction now we can represent in decimal so here 10 you know children 4 divided by 10 means 10 just after the one digit you make a decimal means 0.4 0.4 so they represent 0.4 here next 8 divided by 100 8 divided by 100 so how many zeros there two zeros so here 8 only so 8 after you have to add one more zero then place a decimal point place a decimal point so what comes in here 0.08 0.08 0.08 next children next 5 divided by 5 divided by 1000 so how many zero here 3 zero so after the 5 we need 30 one one digit uh, sorry children 30 not three de, uh, decimal uh, three digit so after the five one uh, uh, five is the one digit another one second digit third digit after that i have to make a decimal point so what comes now 0.005 this is the third format children so children this session you have to learn about how to convert a fraction into decimal and decimal into fraction and three types of uh, expander form i hope you are all learned well